What's going on, world? It's your homie Sensei Rip, and I'm back again with another video. Today, we got Matt Barnes putting the NBA on blast for its lack of coverage on NBA ref Tony Brothers being suspended for one game after being heard speaking some disrespectful things towards player Spencer Dinwiddie. That's right, y'all. For those who may have missed it a couple weeks ago, Spencer Dinwiddie decided to call out the NBA ref on what he said, and uh, I'll let y'all check it out for yourself so y'all can hear what was actually said, and then I will catch y'all afterwards with Matt Barnes' reaction to the NBA finally disciplining NBA ref Tony Brothers. All right, so with that being said, let's get right to it. I'm now known for my monologues. Um, I would like to take the very first piece of this, uh, sorry, I'm take this out, press conference and uh, say, I apologize to Tony Brothers for what uh, seemed to keep him irate, which was a clap. I think he thought it was uh, disrespectful. Um, if you watch the games, and I know that's what refs are supposed to do, you see that I, I clap to like get the attention of my teammates, things of that nature. So it was nothing personal. Um, so as a man, I would like to say I'm sorry first and foremost. And secondarily, I would like to say not only would I like my money back, but I would like to not be called a bitch ass to my teammate. So if there is anybody that feels that way about me, not naming any names, they can address me personally face to face because no uh, swear words were used in the direction of anybody um, personally. It was like, hey, that wasn't a take foul or not, that wasn't a fucking take foul or something like that, but it wasn't anything that was uh, personal. Um, so NBA, I would definitely like my money back and I would appreciate no fine at all in uh, this monologue. Thank you. Now, once it was reported that NBA ref Tony Brothers would be suspended for one game, Matt Barnes this morning took to IG to ask, where's the coverage? All right, for those who missed the post, it reads, why does this not make headlines? Anytime a player is suspended or fined, it's headlines. But here, an NBA ref was suspended for a game for calling a player a BAM and his crickets. Now, y'all know why I can't say it, but y'all can read it. All right, stay with me. As a former player and a fan of our game, we need more transparency for referees. They're such a crucial part of the game, but they're protected more than the actual players? How? Their grades need to be public knowledge. They should be interviewed after games. They should be fined and suspended for blowing games. There needs to be accountability on their part. But for some reason, they always slip through the cracks, and it's BS. All right, now again, that was Matt Barnes putting the league on blast for its lack of coverage on NBA ref Tony Brothers being suspended for one game for calling player Spencer Dinwiddie out of his name. Now, let's be real. Uh, refs get a lot of criticism, right? We already know some of the rocky history that's existed uh, with former refs. Let's just say that, right? Um, a lot of players always voice their frustrations, uh, on some of the officiating, but they're really restricted because the moment you criticize officials, you get fined, right? And at the end of the day, they just want some reciprocity in that same regard. If we have to be held to a certain standard and we have to be held accountable, then damn it, so should the refs. And on that logic, I get it. I understand. You know, you're out here blowing games, you're missing calls, you're not making the correct calls. I mean, especially when the game is on the line, you have to be held accountable. But in this situation here, this isn't about a terrible call. This is about a ref, all right, calling Spencer Dinwiddie out of his name. And listen, there has to be some respect here, but also accountability, not just on the players, but also the officials, all right? Both of y'all have to be out there for your purpose. The same way we don't want players calling refs out their names or putting their hands on refs, Y'all got to have that same energy in return when it comes to the players. Now, again, I don't have any audio uh, that, you know, overheard the ref speaking ill on Spencer Dinwiddie, but this is him expressing his frustrations and concerns. And guess what? The league would, you know, find you for just speaking on the refs. So that's what uh, makes Spencer Dinwiddie's point valid, because at the end of the day, you want the players to be held at a certain standard, yet the refs, like Matt Barnes said, slipped through the cracks. And now, here we are, an example of a ref being disciplined, yet no one's talking about it. All right, y'all let me know what's your thoughts on this whole situation. Is Matt Barnes wrong for putting the league on blast for his lack of coverage? Does he make a valid point? Let me know down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time.
Peace.